hello and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start creating our game ui so basically we will attach a health bar to our player and to our enemies as well because we want a health bar to be shown right here at the top of the enemy head and also after the health bar we want to show the rifle information for example the ammo and the number of magazines so first thing first let's start creating our health bar for our player so in order to do that open up any browser and search for unity as its store and right here you will find this beautiful progress bar free it is a free asset right here is the file size and this is the creator of this asset so if you are following me then you can actually add this asset and then simply click on this open in unity and click on this open unity editor and in the package manager it will open up this you can actually then download it if you didn't download it and then click on import and click on import again and now in a minute it will be inside our project as you can see we have the folder right here if we click on this progress ui right here we have different types of ui so let's start adding a health bar for our player for that in the ui we will click on this canvas and then inside this canvas we will create an empty game object let's name this as health bar and inside this health bar now let's add an image from the ui and then click on this image let's name this as health bar frame and basically this will be the frame for our health bar so we will use this frame let's just simply drag and drop this inside the source image okay let me click on this scene let's go inside 2d let's click on the canvas and now as you can see we have a frame right there so you can actually click on this react tool and resize it and according to how long or how many height do you want for this frame but let's do this the simple way so click on the help our frame and then click on this set native size and as you can see it set the size for the help bar and now if you click on this health bar let's drag and drop that like this to fit the size of the health bar frame okay and then what we can do we can click on this move tool and let's move it to the center again okay now we need a fill for this health bar frame so for that what we will do inside this health bar let's go ui let's add another image and we will name this as health bar fill right here you can actually use a solid color if you want but hence we have an image for our fill so we will drag and drop this image in there and we will click on this set native size and now as you can see we have a beautiful help our fill and help our frame and actually move this help our fill on top of the help our frame because we want to show this help our fill right down below this frame okay so now if we move it as you can see so let me move that back to its position and as you can see it looks really beautiful like that now we want an effect for this health bar when the enemy try to hit us we want to decrease the health bar like that we want that illusion that our health bar is decreasing so in order to do that a unity provide a simple component for that so if we click on our health bar and right here we will add this slider component okay you can actually type slider and it will show that component and right here we don't want this to be interactable let's make the transition none navigation none and right here in the fill react we will simply drag and drop that okay 
now we have this let's make the value as fully one and if we click on this fill now let's click on this react tool let's simply drag and drop that like this from here as well and then from here in here and if you click on this set native size it will set the size like that okay so we don't want that we want the size of it like that okay so now if we click on this uh, help bar again and in the slider component now if we try to change the value of it now as you can see it changed the values accordingly let's leave the value there and as you can see now let's get back to the scene view let's make the value again the maximum value which is one so after this let's add the player profile or you can say the portrait so if you go inside the sprites folder we have a sprite for that right here so actually we can click on this health bar go inside image and let's name this as player profile let's drag and drop that in there now we can move this on the left side right there Let's click on the react tool let's make it a little bit bigger and wider like that let me move it outside the help bar let me set this up okay let's check it in the game view it looks a far away from the help bar so let's go inside the scene view let's move it a little bit closer like that and now as you can see it looks beautiful like that let's check if it doesn't affect the health bar okay let's make the value the maximum value again so now it indicates that this is the player health okay now if we click on this health bar frame right here click on this and make this in the stretch okay and click on the alt button and click on that as well and now if we try to resize the whole health bar as you can see it just resize all of the health bar Let's click on Ctrl Z and get it back to its previous position. Now let's move our help bar to the left side right here on the screen. So for that, let's do this. Check the canvas. Okay, we need to move it to that position. So we can click on this Move tool and let's move it up there like that now let's click on the canvas and let's just move it a little bit more to the left side and a little bit up there now if we check it okay it looks far more better but let's just move it a little bit more up now if we see as you can see it shows right there let me play the game Okay, it shows it right there we don't want it to be there so click on the health bar right here let's make it top left okay click on alt button and click on this one okay now let me save it and as you can see it moves far more there okay we don't want it to be there so let's click on it again let's click on this press the alt button let's move it to the center again okay 
let me go inside the same view now let's move it again to the top right there okay so move it like that and then click on this health bar click on that and now move it to the top left side so now basically it will stick to the top left side okay so as you can see you can move it accordingly with the canvas okay so just click on this move tool and move it wherever you want and then make sure that you make the anchor presets to the top left now let's save it play the game and you will notice that now it is on the top left side but as you can notice it is far more bigger and you don't want the help part to be this big so what we will do in the same view click on the health bar and let's change the scale of it to 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.6 okay and this will be enough i guess if we try to change the value as you can see it works fine so now click on the canvas again and let's move it again to the left side like this and the anchor preset is already to the top left so now we will have no problem now let's play the game again let me lock the cursor and now as you can see our health bar looks really beautiful like that okay But for now it will not work because we don't have a script attached to our help bar. So in the next video we will attach a script to our help bar and then whenever the enemy hit us we will decrease the health like that. And actually if you make the maximum value as 3 and then you can notice the value is now changed to 3. And for example our health of the player is 120 so you can make this 120 as well okay if we click on this whole number now let's uh, make this for example 5 and now you will notice it will increase and decrease the health in whole number as you can see 1 2 3 4 5 okay and for example if our health is 120 then okay just didn't show anything for the 120 because it is a lot more bigger value okay but if you want your health to be in whole number as you can see you can change it to that but for now let's leave it as default and see you guys in the next video